Hey. What you doing? <laughs> Launching uh, Hike Your My Feelings, Read and Reflect. All right. What day is today? Today is January 12th, 2020. So today is the first day of the first Read and Reflect yep. chapter one. Yep. We're starting with chapter one. I'm posting the picture in the group so people can start doing stuff, linking them to the resources for the... Uh, stuff and we'll see how it goes uh a couple of people have already asked like where do we go to start this so i was like it's self-directed so i'm just making sure people know that like we're not meeting somewhere because i i don't have i don't i don't have time to do meetings every week no. for this because <laughs> so, how many how many people are signed up for this one 94 that's pretty good yeah and so and today's the first uh official book signing at a bookstore oh yeah yeah where's that at diesel and del mar excellent and they did a uh, San Diego Union Tribune did an article about it, so I'm expecting this attend to be event to be well attended. Excellent. Yeah. You ready for a great day? Yes. All right. Uh, kisses. Uh. Uh. <laughs> and yeah, if you guys are in SoCal, if you're in San Diego, head up to Del Mar. We're going to do the book signing and the reading and all that stuff from three to four. And then after that, we're going to go to Modern Times in Encinitas to get some yummy vegan food. If you guys drink, you're, they have beer there. It's a brewery that also serves food. Um, I'm sober, so not for me, but I will be participating in all of the delicious yummy treats. So um, yeah, anywho, that's all I got. Is there anything else? Nope. Nope. It's a big day. It's like, I have been dreaming of this day since I was a kid. Like more than I ever dreamed of having babies or getting married. Um, I always knew that I would write a book and I had like visions of book signings in bookstores, largely based on what I've seen in movies. So I don't know how realistic my idea of what this is gonna be like is, but we're gonna find out. I've never done it before. Um, the store where I'm speaking is a new bookstore. They have a, um, like their original location is in Santa Monica, Diesel in Santa Monica. Um, and they just opened in Del Mar, I believe, last year. So this is their first ever author signing, too. So we're all just figuring it out as we go. And if you haven't figured it out yet, that's kind of the secret to all this. Like, you don't have to plan as much as you think you do. I used to plan all the time. And the second that I stopped planning, things just kind of started opening up and happening. So if you feel like life is wild and out of control and you don't have, you know, like a handle on it, just let it go and see what happens. It's probably going to be okay. So... Um, let me see your pictures. Let those prompts inspire your captions. Really excited to see the photo challenges for social media. Excited for you guys to claim your status as a survivor because everybody that's in this group, I feel like, has survived something, whether that's sexual assault or something else. Y'all are still here. You've made it. So thanks for being part of our uh, whole deal. Thanks for being part of my healing journey. And I hope to see you today at the book signing in Del Mar. Peace. How'd that go? What, what, what was that? A little live. Just yeah. saying hey to the Facebook group. That's good. Yeah, I thought I'd say hi. So how many things was I supposed to get in there? Five. Oh, no. I didn't get five. What'd you get? Because I got six. Ah, you're the best. You love me. <laughs>
um, with someone else to explore things that are uncomfortable or things that need to be dealt with us for us to live fully human lives. And uh, so it's a pleasure to start with a book that does that and does it not just for ourselves as individuals, but also our relationship to nature, um, which with climate change and all the things happening in Australia, it's all on our minds. But um, there are concrete things we can do in our lives that root us and ground us in who we are and where we are. And uh, this is a book that helps to do that. And she's very devoted to continuing that work. So please welcome Sydney Williams. <laughs> A little bit about me, my name is Sydney Williams. I'm an author of Hiking My Feelings, Stepping Into the Healing Power of Nature. Holy crap, it feels good to say that out loud. <laughs> this is my first book event ever. <laughs> now that we have a little bit of background about me, to set up this story that I'm about to share from the book, I'm gonna be reading chapter 10, which is, or sorry, chapter, yeah, chapter 10, called You Don't Need the Money. And leading up to this, uh, the first hike, like I mentioned, was in December 2016. It was the hardest thing I've ever done physically. Like, I couldn't walk right for two or three weeks after that. I was 70 pounds heavier than I am today. I rolled off the couch, onto the trail, no training, no prep whatsoever. We like to call that delusional confidence. <laughs> <laughs> there was no reason for me to do this trip. I had no idea what I was doing, but I did it. It was hard, I survived. Nine months later, I was diagnosed with type two diabetes, which is one of the biggest catalysts for change in my life. At the time, I was working at a marketing firm, working from home based in San Diego, and I was stressed. I was leading email marketing for NBC. I got diagnosed the week before fall premieres. If you guys know anything about the entertainment industry, if you watch TV at all, that's a stressful time to get diagnosed with chronic illness. So I looked at myself and I was like, hey, um, what are you doing with your life? How can you make the world a better place? Because I realized everything that I thought was a bragging point on my resume actually taught people how to sick and be sick and be numb. And I was a byproduct of the work I had been doing. So, I had an opportunity to join my friend's startup. It was an all-natural skincare company rooted in women's empowerment and social justice. I'm about to read you about my professional rock bottom. Are you ready? And then 
the story that I want to share is um, one of our last tour dates, we were in Atlanta, Georgia. We were doing a co-host uh, co hike with an organization called Outdoor Journal Tour. And um, we were hiking on Confederate battleground on the day that the Harriet Tubman movie was released. And the group that we were organizing with was led by two black women, so our organization, <coughs> our audience was primarily people of color, and like five or six of us that weren't. And we were hiking, and as we got to the top, their whole thing for Outdoor Journal Tour is like, what, the question that they asked is just like, what kind of healing have you found in nature? So we wrote it down in a card, and she's like, okay, on the count of three, we're all gonna walk out to somewhere, and we're gonna tell our story of healing to the trees, to the ground, to these rocks, whatever, because blood has been shed on this Confederate battleground, and we want to bring healing to the land. And so she's like, okay, one, two, three. We all start telling our stories, I'm sobbing. It was dead still with the wind, and as we were all telling our stories of healing to the land, just like wind, just like, woof, just like picked up, was swirling around us, just like, and in that moment, I was like, this is the most cleansing wind I've ever seen or felt because we had shared like how we connect to the wind, other people connect to the trees. Like when I was walking through the Grand Canyon, there was this one tree on the trail and I just put my hand on it and I thanked it. I was like, you see some shit tree. Like, you know, like if you, if trees could talk, this one would. So it was just, it was a lot of like, it's something different. It really depends on the trail. For me, the physical experience of just completely exhausting myself and seeing what my body is capable of is really fulfilling for me. Um, doing that outside is more beneficial than being inside for me. I've tried to get the gym. Um, you just signed up for an extra shift at work if you're going to the gym. I hate to break it to you, but like the lights are fluorescent, the air is recirculated, the lyrics suck, and the music that they're playing. None of it's empowering. All of it makes you angry. Like the news is telling you about how the world's melting down, literally and metaphorically. Like getting outside for me has been the ticket, and it doesn't matter if it's hiking, paddleboarding, listening to music outside, like outdoor music shows. I mean, um, it's really just like being in the fresh air first and foremost. So what do you think, Travis? Holy moly, I'm very, very, very lucky to have been here. This is a professional. She's a professional. Um, it's, it's ridiculously proud. She's all right, yeah, huh? Yeah, she's really all right. So what do you think? Oh my god, I'm trying so hard not to cry. Um, it's amazing to see how Sydney has gone from speaking to small back rooms and REIs to massive, huge audiences and bookstores. And, and the book that was once an idea is now an actual physical freaking thing, which I still have to read. I, <laughs> I was gonna, to, I was gonna ask you, have you read it? <laughs> for some reason, the mailman did not want to deliver it to me, but I think it's because I was meant to come here and actually get it from Sydney herself. So. Yeah. But I'm so excited. I've been, I mean, I've heard Sydney's story. I've watched her evolve with telling it and. Oh my God, the confidence that radiates from her, you know, her just knowing her truth, her just being herself is just, it, it just, it's everything to me. Cause that, that's so empowering. It makes you realize that if you can be yourself and if you can accept yourself and if you can validate yourself, you're really, there's no limits. Clearly that's what you can do. This girl is magic. She's all right, huh? She's magic. Excellent. Do you know, what do you think? It's all right. It's okay. Speechless. So. So, How'd it go? I think it went really good. I had fun. You think? I think. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how these things work. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> good. I'm glad you liked it because I had fun. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going. I, I sold enough books too. Like I was really one. I was worried that nobody would show up, and I knew that wouldn't be possible. But it is always possible because it happened on the road. Two, we sold enough books. Like I thought I'd have to buy books back, but we sold more books than. I needed to for the minimum. Uh -huh. So, and he's carrying it in store. Yeah, and they ordered some to carry in store. So, uh -huh. <coughs> it's all good. I'm yeah. so happy. Yeah, and we're going to Santa Monica. Yeah, we're gonna go speak at the Santa Monica store too. Yeah, where Tom Hanks regularly shows up. By the way, who's he? Some actor. Okay, <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> you love Congratulations. Thank you. I right. love you. Love you. next time on Williams in the Wild. So here we are. Here we are. Back at the Reggae Ranch. We're back. Yeah. 
So what was so special about today? Um, well, it was special because we got to walk on Sunset Cliffs with a new human that we met. But also today is the anniversary of Chris's, uh, when Chris took his own life. Yeah. So it was just kind of weird. Like, I chose to read the story about Chris that opens up the book because I wanted to honor him in that way, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like enough. I don't know. It was a big day.